there. Love them knives channel. LTK here. <sighs> Dang. You know what? Oh, one of our subscribers here, and he's always mouthing off on my uh, comment section. And, uh, <laughs> you know, them people live in New York. They just, not New York City. He's upstate, and uh, he has nothing to do with New York City values, right? Ted Cruz is like, good enough way to alienate yourself from everybody, isn't it? Um, Wes sent me a crap load of knives. We're going to have a knife sale at some point in time, but I hate him particularly for sending this one. Wow. Have you have you checked this? I I always, you know, have to roll by it and take a slow look every time I'm online because I love this ZT. What ZT do you like? The 0620 CF Emerson Tonto Carbon Fiber. Yes. It's a 620. 620 CF. And you know, at first when I unboxed it, I didn't really pay much attention because he sent me a bunch of different knives and he, he wants to thin out his collection. I don't know what he's chasing, but I'm chasing what he's throwing. Practically, uh, this is a beautiful knife. Uh, it's Emerson Wave. If I was going to get an Emerson Wave knife that, you know, I, am you know, get proud of and everything, styling and profiling, this would be it. Look at that carbon fiber in that pretty. Titanium frame lock. Black hardware. I get it. Pocket clip. Very nice. And usable. I mean, it's not, you know, anything special in that regard, but it works. And that's what you want this to do. Wow, what a nice knife. Dang. You got your thumb disc on here. Ambidextrous to be able to open it. Pocket clip for right hand or left hand. Tip up carry. Although, hey, it's, yeah, it's better to be right handed, isn't it? Because then you got this up against your pocket instead of this on the left side. And of course... The Emerson Wave feature, which, if you don't know, uh, is pulling it out of your pocket. And here's the lip of your pocket. As you're pulling it out, the back lip catches this Wave feature. And as you withdraw it out of your pocket, it opens the knife. And what a nice knife it is, too. Stonewash flats, satin grind areas. It's, I guess I'm calling it a modified Tonto, Tanto, but I mean, since it started out stone washed, everything's smooth here. Nice, no rough edges. CTS 204P. I mean, uh, yes, yes, and yes. I like everything about this knife. I really do. You know, I'd never had this one in my hand before. And, uh, wow. It's nice. It's smooth. It just feels quality. You know, you've seen me do the CQC stuff. I just hit my microphone. I hope that didn't come through too bad. Um... Yeah, I mean the Kershaw CQC stuff, and that, and and that's fine, and that, those are steel frame and stuff. But uh, wow, I mean, when you get all the way uptown, this is where you where you land, and the action's just really wonderful. But they didn't forget the utility on this. I mean, uh, whew, we've got texture in here, don't we, boys? And this thumb ramp. Nice. It's not overly aggressive, and you can see how the how the jimping comes through also. 
on the scale. So it makes contact. Nothing back in here to make contact with, but under here, yes. So, you know, when you're, when you got your finger here and really kind of grabbing both, uh, this is good and this is sturdy up here. So, yeah, it's got good traction. And, you know, I guess maybe they're making up for a little bit of the fact that this carbon fiber, no bueno for traction. No, not really. I mean, it's got, you know, it's got milled areas in here. But really, no. No. And, of course, this, no. But, I mean, this is where you want it. Here and here. These are the contact areas that you don't want this to go on and you don't want this to go on. So this holds you from going onto the blade. This holds you from losing it backwards like that. Nice, beautiful grind, nicely done as per usual for ZT, especially in this model. I'm not sitting there necessarily uh, all that crazy about every ZT model that's crossed my path. But this is, you know, when they go to the carbon fiber, it's just nice. What do we got for an overall thickness on there? So right at a half inch overall. And let's look at the blade stock. It's up in here too. So it looks like it's going to be four millimeters at least. Yeah, right there. Four millimeter thick stock. Nice. Nice. Right there. So, half inch, four millimeter, 0.157 inches. And I'm thinking 3.5, 3.6. Well, three and five eighths, according to this measure. And eight and a half overall, 21 and a half with uh, what, nine centimeters? 21 and a half centimeter, nine centimeter, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so three and five eighths, eight and a half overall. Just right. Just right for carry. <laughs> now here comes the big question because I'm feeling this. I'm feeling it. So let's do it. Come on. Get it over with because I think it's heavy and I don't know what I just did. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, 6.3. Yeah, I didn't think it was exactly uh, too delicately light, was it? 1.78. 6.3, yeah. A little bit heavy. Yes, it is. Here's the one thing that kind of is a puzzlement. Have you noticed this? Look at the pivot. Are, you know, are we building a structural steel building or... I, are we putting big old wooden playground equipment together with big huge bolts or something? I mean, I, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure I get that <laughs> as a pivot uh, screw, but I reckon it works. I mean, I think we all got a wrench. Maybe that's part of this uh, kind of industrial utilitarian type of design. Because it is, it's really, a, you know, it's that kind of knife. It's not pretentious. It's not trying to be artsy. Lock up, pretty strong. 40% at least. And insert in here. Detent ball. Nice. Feels good. Over travel stop built in here too. I don't know if you can really see that. Yeah, you can kind of in there. But yeah. Yes, you can feel that. So. Wow. Sweet little knife, that's for sure. Eight and a half. Over six ounces. Chunk of stuff. And that's with carbon fiber. 
I mean, uh, but you got full steel liner here, up here. Uh, I think. Yep. Yeah, there's my magnetic bracelet. Psh, psh, yep. That's steel liner. This is titanium. <laughs> the hardware is not. Get out of here. Stop it. Yeah, it's titanium. This is not. Nah, all this hardware stuff is steel. But. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Damn, I didn't know this one was coming my way. I might have. I might have saved up some money for this because this is just sweet. Uh, and uh, we're going to do a series on his knives and then we're going to have a knife sale. But um, this is why this one was the first up in his knives. Uh, because, I mean, it's great to have an opportunity without having to pay the money to uh, get these knives. Review them on my channel have them for your viewing pleasure and it cost me nothing and who knows um you know my knife uh audience uh gets an opportunity to uh see them and maybe even buy them which never hurts to ask if you're interested on any of my uh reviews some get kept, some get stole, uh, stole, some get sold. Um, yeah, feel, was that a Freudian slip? Stole? Yeah, I want to get this stole. That's oh, nice. Really is. And it's sharp, too. I think these are basically new in the box, which is crazy good. And, uh, I'll bet that. Oh, yeah, 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 it's very sharp. CTS 204P, be there, be square. Comes in a nice box, you know, your typical ZT stuff, right? And it's got the, you know, the packing and the paperwork and all that stuff in it. So that's cool. Uh, wow. Yeah, I always wondered what this would feel like in hand. I didn't think it'd be quite this substantially heavy, but I like it. Good fit. See here? I mean, it gives you the opportunity to, to push that lock bar aside. And it's pretty easy to do that, too. Yeah. How's the detent? Pretty good. And, you know, I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, you can. And you almost have to when it's not a flipper. You gotta. You can't have the detent too strong, cause you're you're pulling it out with a thumb disc. So you want to be able to get it at some point where you can, where you can flick it. And I can't flick it. There it is, where you can flick it. Still fairly stiff from being new. Uh, all right, I'm gonna let you go. I'm I'm sorry. I'm just playing with knives and expect you to hang with me. But isn't that pretty? Oh. Yeah. This is one of those ZT knives. It's, yeah, it's really on my want list. It really is. Uh, you know, you have your want list and you decide what you would like and what you wouldn't. And there's a lot of ZT knives. I really don't care. But this is one that I do. I really like. Mmm. Thanks for joining me. You know what? We love them knives, and we hope you do too.